Today, I'm going on a photo walk. I'm gonna take you behind the scenes, share some of my process, and share every photo I get. Enjoy. I've noticed within the past couple of months back home, I'm way less motivated to shoot. I attribute it to almost feeling desensitized to the same subjects that I drive by every day. So today, to kind of break that mental barrier, I wanted to get out to an entirely new area that I found on Google Maps. Uh, we're gonna be shooting on Porsche 400. We'll be shooting on a Mamiya RZ67. It's a medium format camera. It is an industrial park, so there should be a good amount of lines and textures to play with. A lot of muted colors, which is nice because it's that cloudy day. And I think we'll be able to get that really nice flat medium format look. We're pulling onto President's Island now and I'm already seeing a lot of cool stuff. It's a really cool mix of kind of some vegetation out here as well as a lot of the industrial structures. We should be able to kind of just park and shoot wherever today. It is Sunday evening. Uh, this island essentially only operates Monday through Friday. There's one restaurant out here that doesn't even open on the weekends. I'm pretty excited about all the subject matter that there is to work with. There's a lot of textures, almost abandoned seeming lots, scrap metal, all that good stuff. So just shooting some Porsche 400 120. It would be nice to have that real big negative for all the detail and uh, the 400 speed should serve us pretty well um, up until the sun kind of goes down. It's still pretty bright out and we're shooting 400 speed. So I'm gonna have to shoot this at F16 and I'm gonna be shooting it at 400 shutter speed. angle is a little bit more interesting than from over there. So I'm going to center this as the back of my subject and then use these train tracks as some leading lines in the image. So I've just kind of got the entrance to this warehouse centered right between two fence posts. It's perfectly symmetrical composition. You got some good color in it and a nice orange cast from the sun. So this is the first big structure uh, that we're shooting today. I shot a couple train cars. I've got the American flag on a pole kind of centered between a tower and uh, some of these shoots here. I haven't really been adjusting my exposure much. Uh, the light hasn't changed too much so I've just been shooting f16 at 400 um, until the sun goes down and the light gets a little bit dimmer. But for now I've kind of just been firing on that speed. Cool. We've got this puddle here and I'm just kind of using it for reflection on these fence posts. It's not my favorite composition, but I never really play around with puddles. And I haven't shot any reflections uh, with this camera yet, so I kind of want to see how sharp those come out and uh, what an image like that looks like. We got that puddle shot and then right behind us is this massive structure. The sun's hitting it perfectly and even better, there's just a huge puddle right in front of it so I'm going to try to play with some reflections over here too. If not, I'm still pretty excited about this structure uh, for a composition. We 
shot this structure with this puddle over here and I kind of want to get a more symmetrical shot. Unfortunately, most stuff out here is kind of behind a fence, uh, but I'm just going to use this fence as kind of a foreground. It's going to be out of focus, uh, but it'll just be kind of a pattern over the whole photo. over here. I'm just going to use this factory as kind of a background piece and work with this fence and the texture and color hitting these vegetation right here as kind of the foreground of the image. That's that roll. I'm gonna go and load up another. There's two kind of things I'm interested in over here. You got some black kind of pillars, and then these two I'm gonna shoot first. The sun is about to go down. We'll probably get a couple more shots and then shoot for a little bit during blue hour and then head out of here. But let's go ahead and shoot this and we'll work over there. I really like this composition because there's this juxtaposition between this massive uh, wide cylinder and then eight really tall smaller ones and it just is a pretty cool composition. I don't know what it is about it uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and frame this shot up. I'm just gonna shoot this one out the window here because we're running low on sunlight. Trying to hit a couple spots before we get going. Another uh, drive through shot. Very little sunlight left. I guess it's about the time that they'd be turning on like their service lights. So we got these little lights on this composition. A little bit of this orange left. It's kind of a minimal scene. I really do like it. We're about out of decent golden hour light. However, there are these beautiful pink tones coming in all across the sky. I haven't had much luck in the past when there's a lot of intense colors uh, in a sunset with the clouds. It just comes through kind of grainy and the colors aren't as accurate. But these are really flat, kind of subtle tones and it's almost an even exposure between the scene and the sky right now. We got some piles here in the foreground and this plant in the background here. So we're gonna kind of create a three tier composition Let's go over here. So I'm pretty excited. There's a bunch of kind of sign detail lights and just lights in general coming on out here, but we still have a pretty decent amount of light in the sky. So it's getting a little dark and this film speed isn't gonna be cutting it soon. I'm shooting at 3.6 uh, aperture and all the way down to the 160th on shutter speed so right on the line where um, some handshake will start showing up in the image if I'm not holding it still enough Another famous car shot.
have just the last of the sunset. So I kind of like the nice muted gold, really soft, a little bit darker uh, yellow on this railroad car here. And I'm gonna use all the industrial kind of silhouettes as a backdrop for it. Essentially no sunlight anymore, uh, but there's a good amount of street lamps and a couple of fun red um, kind of flashers. So I wanted to reshoot this spot we shot earlier, or we shot it yesterday. Um, just wanted to capture it in a different mood. Totally different light, same, or as close as I can to the same composition. <laughs> 